On the 15th of March, a report from Russia's federal news agency featured an interesting semi-automatic sniper rifle, the MTS-566. The report shows a sniper team from Wagner, Russia's largest private military contractor, in position in Bakhmut. The date the piece was filmed is unclear, but the rifle itself is rarely seen, and the footage gives us a decent look at the rifle and even features it firing a couple of rounds. The MTS-566 is produced by the Central Bureau for Sporting and Hunting Arms at Tula. It's chambered in 762 by 51 NATO and uses a short-stroke gas piston system. It fulfills a similar role to the US M110 series and Ukraine's UAR-10s. The MTS-566 was developed from the OTS-129, a designated marksman rifle developed for a Russian military requirement. It has a 60cm or 24 inch barrel, it feeds from 762 P mags and has a full length top rail. It also has a pair of folding iron sights and a side folding stock. It has a quad rail and a suppressor which partially shrouds the rifle's barrel. In the civilian version at least, the suppressor is more of an empty expansion chamber without baffles. Whether that's the case for current production guns or rifles purchased for military use is unclear. If the expansion chamber can is in use here, then it appears to help somewhat. The Tula Design Bureau lists the weight of the rifle as 4.8 kilograms or 10.6 pounds, and its overall length as 125 centimeters or 49 inches, though other sources do vary slightly around this. Notably, the weapon's lower receiver is much shorter in depth with the pistol grip position to much higher than, say, on an AR-10. It was displayed for the first time in 2018 and was reportedly aimed at the civilian hunting market and due to be on sale in around 2020. My good friend Haracha got a good look at one at the 2018 Russian Arms and Hunting Expo. He wrote up a detailed article on it for TFB. There'll be a link to that in the video's accompanying article over at armorersbench.com. The rifle has some interesting features, including integral folding iron sights rather than rail-mounted backup iron sights. The Russian military apparently believed that these could be too easily damaged, so engineers at Tula designed integral sights, and the rear sight folds back into the hinge of the stock. There is also rail space attached directly to the rifle's upper receiver, seemingly for mounting various accessories. The Russian news report says that the sniper team is at work in Bakhmut and the sniper notes that his rifle is mounted with a 20 power optic. The sniper also discusses the kinds of engagement ranges he normally works at, saying I work at a distance of 700 to 800, sometimes 1000 meters. He also briefly talks about the 7.62mm round that the MTS-566 uses, noting that it works well and that it's a pleasant round to shoot. He also says that while smaller, it has good velocity downrange. During the clip, the sniper fires two rounds in very quick succession, while his spotter watches the target downrange. It's unclear exactly what ammunition they're using, but the rifle is said to be capable of one MOA accuracy. But I couldn't find any figures from either an independent source or the manufacturer. Thanks for watching guys, I don't think I've seen a great deal of imagery of this rifle in use in the field, and it's unclear just how many are in use. The report certainly gives us one of the better looks at the rifle. If you've seen other MTS 566s in use in the field, drop me an email and let me know. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you really enjoy our videos, please consider supporting us either through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. We have a range of different perks to say thank you for your support, including early access to all of our videos. Thanks again. Catch you next time.